today we are going to create first of all uh, I would like to demonstrate the program with the console application okay well here in the name fields we can give any names so let me give program true and click on ok you have to give a little bit patient and when the class file is open you can start around and here is the place where you have to start you can change around this namespace as you like but in this program I will use the default namespace name okay so what we are going to do with this program we are going to generate a prime number from 1 to let's say uh, the range entered by the user so I need uh, some variable I need A to store the ends and I need B to run the loop and I need uh, C to run the inner loop and I also need a counter let's say a counter will be S so we are going to start the range range all right control dot right line all right can just see here you can just snip it and you write enter the range so the user will enter the range and when the user enter the range you store it inside so don't read line that you have to pass it first of all when we just write this um the program will try to read the number or the string which we enter in the console as a string so we have to convert this one into in the zero value or some numeric values so we can write this convert dot to int or int 32 and put this one inside this bracket now the arrow should goes away and again we have I looked I'll start from 1 and run till a that means I have to run from 1 till the maximum range I mean the range if the user enters 100 and we are going to generate a number from 1 to 100 if the user enters 500 then we are going to generate from 1 to 500 so what we are going to do here we are going to set s as 0 because the counter is going to be the variable s so why we declare this s inside this for loop because we are going to check it each and every number till the maximum number or till the range we reach we are going to reset this value again and again so let's go further for c equal 1 c is less than or equal b since we have to run the loop the inner loop plus plus. we need to remember here one thing we should not put this variable as initialization inside this inner loop we always have to keep outside the loop so let's go ahead we are going to divide the b with C and we are going to check whether they can define a number or not so divide it that means uh, the reminder when we divide B with the value of C the reminder should be 0 to execute the statement then I will increase here the value of S and outside the loop we will need to check if S is equal to 2 then we are going to print out the number so console always remember to run that right line when we do right line uh, right there, there right line I want to write in a um, okay let's say I do write using this space and also I write the value of B and I will have to wait here straight line just like that 
No. This is a program. Let's execute the program. When I execute the program, it tells me to enter the range. So suppose I enter 50 and the prime number right from number 1 to 50, all the prime number will be printed. Okay, let's check it out. If I use here right line, the output should be displayed in this manner. So you should not write method and write line methods. I hope you like the program. See you next.